I thank God for who he is and the chance to preach. It's good when God trusts you with grace uh, to tell others who he is. I'm Bishop Peter Gatimo. We are reaching out to you from Apostolic Faith Church, Bahati, Nairobi. God loves you so much. Uh, remember the topic, how to experience the fullness of God's calling. Now, let me now teach today about the levels of calling. Whenever God calls you, you receive the call. We call that receiving the call. You know the direction has changed. It's like when uh, Elijah touched Elisha with his cloth, the mantle, and then Elijah left with the cloth. Elijah, Elisha understood, I have received a calling. But Elisha did not start prophesying right there. Receiving the call is something you know it has come, but it's like when you know you are a teacher, but you need to be taken to teacher's training college for skills. You need to undergo service of making you what you received. You know why some, pe some preachers, you know, let's talk the truth. We always talk about people have small churches, big churches, uh, in fact, because of different level of grace. Let me tell the truth. For the last 44 years I've preached, the difference between preachers is, is in this level. The level of character, the level of prayer, and the level of stage of calling. If today a preacher prays deeply, you experience power to impact and impact deeply. If today a preacher is active, reaching out, reaching out, the church grows. If today you are a farmer and you are ever cleaving for excellency, you go far. If today you are an engineer and you are ever looking out for the opportunities ahead, never asleep, never lazy, never you still have a way ahead of you. And therefore we are saying effort, commitment, sacrifice, righteousness, degree of prayer and sacrifice matters a lot. So if you receive the call, if Elisha receives the call and then walk away, you have a lot of failure and deficiency. Then you need to go to second thing, understanding the call. Getting the real meaning. Knowing the meaning. You see, Elisha understood when this man touches me with his mantle, it means I will inherit him. It means I will inherit him twice. The meaning. The meaning, traditional and cultural meaning of a man in the days of Elijah, touching you with his mantle this way. It meant you are going to inherit that father twice. So, Elisha received the meaning. I will inherit the anointing in this man. One, he knew it's not an issue of cattle, sheep, whatever. It's, it's through these things you come. That the main thing in prophet Elijah is the anointing, prophet calling and mandate. So, he clearly understood I'm not an evangelist. I'm not maybe a social worker. What is in the Raja is the calling of a prophet. And that touch means I will inherit double portion. We call that getting the real meaning of your calling. Look at that. It's very important. So if you just receive the call and then you walked away, you realize your call has deficiency of meaning. And those are some people who go to a church. You look at the pastor. He is preaching well. But there is something lacking. The meaning of his calling is not actually coming out clearly. So, and the pastor lives in a defensive way. You know when you have the meaning, you allow other people, because you know the boundary of your calling, you know where you operate in. If I'm a prophet, I will give room to an evangelist. If I'm a, I'm a prophet, I'll give room to the financial of the ministry. If I'm a prophet, I'll give room to administrators. 
Because that is clear. So there are people who can't allow other gifts to excel because they did not understand their calling. So you touch here, touch there. You are defensive. You are so critical against others. But when you are calling is so clear, you excel in your area and allow others who are called to support you or to quicken you or to show you or to serve with you, you allow them their space. And because they also know their space, you flow comfortably, and anytime you work uh, in your gifting, you realize, because you understand your calling, the outcome is more, is more effective, and more impact. More people are joining you, because there is something in calling. When you know the meaning, People you follow you because of that meaning. You are so clear about what you have. You are so clear about gifting. So you are also very clear about what you give. The third level is relating with the call. When your life adapts the call, after I now know the meaning, my life starting adapting to that calling. I know I'm a prophet. My life now starting, not colliding with that call, but adapting. If you are, you are youth, you know you are youth, prophet. If you are married man, you are married man, prophet. So, you are married man, you have your wife and children. They are, they, you bring the whole family into the relation of that calling. Do you know you can cause your son to support you because... You understand your calling so well. And when you explain it to your son, you can even tell him, this is how you help me in this calling. You can explain it so well to your wife. And if your wife is prayerful, because not all wives understand. If your wife is prayerful, he knows how, how God can bless her and how he can support you in that calling. We call that that level relating with the call. It's when your life adapts the call your life is not in conflict with the calling. I'm saying this. Any person who did not, who, did, who failed in that area, we go to their churches. They collide with people so much. And the family don't know where. And I pray God you help us. The fourth level is we call that actualizing the call. It's when God in fullness now Confirm openly the starting point of your calling and the fruits of your calling and the impact of your calling, the direction of your calling. It is clear to all people. And that's why all more people can follow you now. It is clear by God's grace who God... And God makes present you to people say, this is the man of God. This is how I use him. This is how I'm confirming him. That's how he can bless you. And now actualizing the call is when God makes your call so clear and actual in a way that it, people are so clear about it. They know how you, how you operate. And people know how God uses you in their lives. So it's very easy to have a big church and a big crusade and a big impact. When God confirms and gives you opening, very clear way that confirms that you are God and what, when, and where about your call is clear to you and all people. And they know how your call answers their needs. Hey, you are so clear. People can come from far. They say, this is the man that God is using healing. This is the man God is using in wisdom. This is the man that God is using in great love. Because you realize when you get this level, you also have a very big heart. When you are clear about your calling, and you, your calling has additional level, the more people you get people, the more you feel comfortable. Because your calling has no... It can, as long as there are people allowed, your calling can always, always reach out to them. And it's likely that you have a big following and a big ministry. Thus, those are four levels. If you are able to follow on and up to level number four, you have a big church.
you have a big ministry. You'll be so clear before God to yourself, to your family, to the people, and all people know how you are calling relate to them and how it answers their issues. But some people are not clear. You are just a religious pastor, a religious bishop, whatever. Your case is not bad. You are doing your best, but you need all the steps by God's grace. That's very important in Jesus' name. Now, I would like you to understand some issues in calling, and God will bless you. How do you experience the call? There are you, people tend to think God's call is only in one way. Let's give, give me, give you, let me give analysis. There's what we call a direct call. That happened to Amos, Apostle Paul, Jeremiah. When they say, God appeared to me. God commanded me. That's what God did to Moses. But there's another level you can express calling. When you take your position, the position for God. When you take position for God in a certain place. For instance, ambassador of Christ. When God appoints you to be his ambassador because you are taking his position to represent him in a, in a place. For instance, Daniel. Daniel just stood for his God. He never says, and God appeared to me and told me I'm a prophet. No, no. no. He just stood for his God. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8, he says, I will not defile myself. And God starts using him. In a king's palace, where there are, there are a lot of witches, a lot of magicians, a lot of evil people, Daniel made a start, and God appointed him and started using him. If you can make a clear start of righteousness in a place, and you start to represent God among heathens, start to represent God in that company, Start to present God that family. God, you find God using you to represent him as his ambassador. And God will give you credentials, anointing to be effective. That's how Daniel found himself a prophet in Babylon. He, was, he doesn't say, he does not say he was called like Jeremiah. But I've called you. No. He's taking a position for your God. And God just sees you there and says, you are the man that now is in a position to receive all the money, the anointing, the gifting to represent me there. And God raises you very well. There's another level is when you obey God deeply and very closely. If you obey God deeply and very closely, this makes you receive favor and anointing along that way of deep and close obedience. Simple. I've seen it happen in my life. Brothers that just obey what God is telling us closely, deeply, closely, deeply. And they have pure heart because the condition of heart is very important also in calling. Remember David was told, someone was told, no, 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 no. I look at the heart. Pure heart. They just serve. You fight them, God is using them. And they are very clear where God is taking them. So when you obey and closely. You find yourself, God is using you. Another way is discipleship and, and impartation. When you follow a person with a call and ministry, an impartation of that call and anointing flows from him to you. Hey, I like this. And actually, let me tell the truth. God is using this method more than direct calling. There are people who say, I don't need any man. I don't need any church. I don't need a pastor. Uh -uh -uh. I tell you, God is using this kind of calling, discipleship and impartation by another gifted person more than direct calling. Why? Because people who have served after a man or a woman who is truly and sincerely called are more disciplined and they don't disturb God. You are tried and true. You've, and yes, that's the method Jesus used. When he called the disciples, he said, come, follow me. He don't say, come, go. Come, follow me. And I will make you fishers of men. Can you imagine that method where now you follow 
a person called of God in teachings and discipline and gifting, when God will later tell you, no, you are now an apostle, you are now a prophet, one thing that you have is an experience. Second thing, you are tried and true. That, you have been exposed to glory of God. So when God told Joshua, Joshua, take over. Joshua, God did not doubt the character of Joshua. But God said to Joshua, I will be with you just as I was with Moses. He knew, this man knew, this man Joshua knows what the call means. This is the man that was with Moses when he was fasting for 40 days. This is the man that was with Moses when God was giving the law. This is the man that has worked with my servant. The way you saw Moses, I'll be with you. So God did not have a lot of time to train Joshua. He just said, rise up. You are already qualified through discipleship and impartation. That's a very important in Jesus Christ's name. Uh, we are going to share more about methods and of calling. We have other like four. Follow on to know. Hosea 6 verse 3 and 4 says, you will know if you follow on to know. Follow on this teaching. And I know as a prophet of God, I'm raising a mighty woman and a mighty man, a mighty son and daughter of the kingdom in you. I pray that God today touches you and set you apart for himself. In Christ I bless you. Amen.